Life will never be the same again. Isn't that what we're all told? But what does a newborn mean for your furry family member, your dog or cat? Life for your dog doesn't have to change much at all, providing you take the time now, before your baby arrives, to prepare. Waiting until you bring your baby home may be leaving things a little too late. You don't want your baby or your dog to become a statistic, so consider life from your dog's point of view and include their preparation for the arrival on your to-do list. Of course there will be changes to your home, but the idea is that your dog doesn't associate any changes with its routine with your newborn. You can do this by making changes early. A few simple actions can help your dog accept that life may not be the same, but it will still be happy. Set up a barrier to the baby's room and make sure your dog has its own space to retreat to if needed. And it also needs to know where it can or can't go. with a baby bundle and pop on a CD of a baby crying. When the real baby arrives, your beloved pet shouldn't notice the difference. Meet your new big sister. Your dog will still need exercise to stay relaxed and happy in your home, so think about ways to keep them active, even if you can't. A tired dog is a good dog. Practice walking your dog with a pram. Be sure to hold the lead or tie it around your waist, but never to the pram. You might feel weird, but you can have some fun with it. Aww, what a lovely. Start sharing baby scents like talcum powder, a used nappy, or worn clothes brought home from the hospital. So you've practiced with the pram and your dog has smelt your baby, heard your baby and seen what she thinks is the baby. So what happens now she gets to meet the real baby? You're changing the first nappy. Yes dear. When it comes to introducing your newborn to your dog, it's as simple as a sniff. Choose your time. Wait until both dog and baby are settled. No whining or crying from either of them. When everyone's relaxed, let your dog approach the baby and sniff its feet. By this stage, your dog will be so used to the baby, it should be a non-event, but it's still nice to give a reward. I guess the most important tip of all is to never leave your baby alone with your dog. Accidents happen even in the car and both your child and dog are too precious to put at risk. And finally, it's also important to remember to do this all again with your next baby. Plus, there's lots of things that you should look out for when your baby becomes a toddler, but that's a whole new film. Honey? It's time to get the bag. Visit the Brisbane City Council website for more tips and advice on how to keep your dog happy with a new arrival.